Interesting, the youngest player ever to make a final is actually Go Yue. But she lost in that final. She lost to one of the best players I've ever seen, Zhang Yining, who's doing quite a bit of commentary here for Chinese TV. And we all know what happened to Go Yo. She went on to be world champion. So it's a good marker for the youngster from Japan. And we'll see her in action a little bit later. Meanwhile, Musa, there she is. Pink shirt, blue shoulders. She's unranked. She's come through qualification. We've never had a player come through qualification and go on to win the title. She needs three more wins, and she will achieve that. It's been fascinating. She's been somewhat of a double specialist, but we can look at that a little bit later. But there's her opponent, Fung Tian Wei, from Singapore. She's ranked number four in the world, and she's 28 years of age. Interestingly enough, at the last three world championships, 2009, 11, and 13, she's made the quarterfinal. And there we have Stephen Gillespie the umpire from Australia. Hopefully he'll have a quiet game. There have been a few decisions around the service. In fairness to the umpires, they've just been looking to create a level playing field. No unfair advantage for any player. And in fairness, the players here have behaved impeccably. In fact, the sportsmanship has been absolutely outstanding. Good to see. This will be really interesting, as you say there, Don. Fung Chen Wei making the quarterfinal in the last three worlds. Will she be able to push through to the semi-final? Bronze medalist, of course, in London 2012 at the Olympics. Or will the qualifier, Mudza, push through? Fascinating. It's Mudza to serve at the start of the first game. Best of seven games, of course, that doesn't change. Each game to 11 points. Oh, excellent play by Feng Chianwei. Without a doubt, she is the one player that the Chinese fear the most. She's been in great form recently. She won three Pro Tour events in 2014. Did Feng Chianwei. Feng Chianwei current Commonwealth champion as well, a, an event that's very dear to you and I, Johnny, the Commonwealth Games, 71 countries taking part. She's won the women's singles at the last two, 2010 in Delhi, 2014 in Glasgow. But what a flick that was. Musa stepping in, taking the ball at the top of the bounds, hitting straight through it. Fantastic footwork. Watch how she steps into that. Great power to explode into the shot, but very controlled at the same time. Interesting technique too, how she steps through with the right leg. Left leg doesn't come all of the time. Previous round, Musa beat Matilda Ekholm from Sweden, who had a great tournament. Beat her 4 0. And Fung, Fung Tianwei beat her teammate, Yu Meng Yu, 4 1. All very close games, but. Fung coming out on top. Those two matches were both this morning, so the players are now well rested. And they'll be used to the conditions, Don, haven't played earlier. I used to enjoy playing in a venue for the second time in a day. Used to the conditions, the lights, the floor, the bounds, the body, you're warm, you're, you're stretched, it felt good. So, 2-4, early lead. Punching the ball hard on the backhand. It's interesting, when you watch the players at this level, it's not just a block, it's how they use the elbow, the wrist, and particularly Fung Tianwei, it's even when they're blocking, they're putting pressure on their opponent because the excellent use of the elbow and the wrist, as I mentioned. So 5-3. Moose, of course, will be very anxious to prove herself to the Ch Chinese coaches that she's a world-class singles player. 
the two times she's appeared in the world championships previously she's only played in the mixed doubles and on both occasions she was runner-up 2009 Yokohama 2011 in Rotterdam so in the past somewhat of a double specialist one of the few results she's had in singles semi-final of the Swedish in 2013 there's the obstacle in her way Feng Tianwei but she started well the Chinese player leading 7-3 Feng now with her two serves to come just putting the pressure on the Feng Mu playing with a level of intensity and intent And after Fung won the first point with that beautiful cross-court forehand, she's been on the back foot ever since. Certainly, Muzaz managed to keep Fung Tianwei very quiet. We've not seen her run around too much to play forehands there. She's even there, she's leaning a little bit. Didn't get a free run at that forehand top spin. She had to play it from a cramped position. But she did it well, she improvised well, but still five points adrift. Good flick, steered it down the line, deep into the backhand of Musa. Feng Tianwei has to be positive on the return of serve try and put the pressure on she's now got her serves to come and in this situation she's got to try and get in with a strong ball behind the serve oh she recovered well there moves up moving side to side Feng Chen Wei that's clearly a tactic Feng Chen Wei will be disappointed though it's a bad miss at a key moment in the first game here Oh, I like the way Moodza just can wait on the ball as it comes along. Very relaxed. She doesn't rush her stroke. The timing is perfect. And with that top spin, she wins the first game. 11 points to five. So Feng Chen Wei with a serve, start of game two. She started well with the first point in the first game. Didn't make really much of an impact throughout the game though. Moods is really chasing this one down, Don. Not only is she obviously a very talented player, she's, I think she's a great tactician as well. She managed to keep Feng Tian Wei very quiet in that game. Clever placement of the ball. And Feng Tian Wei looks very unsettled, service error. Can't afford too many of those. Two points against the service. And now Musa with her two serves to come. Service error. Heavy backspin on the serve. Fast accelerating wrist. Very well disguised as well there, Don. Look, see, she goes again. Same action, but a short in the forehand. And she's not making any unforced errors here, the Chinese player. Feng Chen Wei a little bit all over the place here. Hasn't been allowed to settle though. A good backhand topspin, very risky. Came up the back of the ball. Moves to see that on the action replay. Not a lot of pace on the ball. Heavy topspin, good variation. A 
And there we have an excellent backhand down the line from Fung Tianwe. That's what she has to do, Johnny. She's got to throw caution to the wind, take on some big shots. Beautiful there. This morning in the match against Ekholm, Musa served one ball, and then the second serve served into exactly the same spot, but with a different spin on it. So giving the the same direction, the same placement, but completely different spin caused enormous problems for the Swedish girl. I love the way she waits on the ball, Don, when it comes on for her forehand moves it, and just takes her time, accelerates up through the ball. You know, you always think about the top, top players in the world and the ones that seem to have all the time in the world. It's just amazing. It's been a very, very impressive performance so far by Musa. She's playing, as you mentioned, Johnny, bronze medalist from the Olympic Games in London. She's unranked, and she's 1-0 up and 8-1 up. But that's that's a bad error from Fung Tian Wei. But I think she's making the errors because she's unsettled. She's not sure what's happening. She hasn't been allowed to get into a rhythm. She lost the first game 11 5, and now she's 9 1 down. Nine, two. <laughs> Hitting with the pimple there, Muzo, on that backhand. I think that's causing one of the problems for Fung Chianwei because she's certainly not getting into a rhythm. Mutsa there punching, as you say, Johnny, with the pimples, the short pimples, ball coming through, flat, eight game points. What a performance, Mutsa, 2-0. Wonderful start by Muzza. First two games in the bag. Fung Chim Wei, I don't think she's even got out of the blocks. It's Muzza with the serve. Game three. Oh, that's a great rally by both players. The forehand topspin on the diagonal from Fung Chim Wei wins the point. But as you'll see on the replay, it is an edge ball. There it goes. Just see deviate off the side of the table. The way things are going, that's the only way she can win a point. Mutsa has been very impressive. She can't afford to lose this game, Johnny. I feel if she goes 3-0 down here. This is a big game for Fung Tianwe. Oh, did you see Mutsa? She's moving into the table just before Fung Tianwe unleashed that ball. Watch how she moves in here. Here she goes, look. She's moving in. She's actually anticipating that ball. Great play. Anticipating the ball, as you say, but then having the, the feeling, the touch, to punch it down the line as well. Gonna need all her experience here, Fung Chum Wei. She's gonna have to keep going. I feel that's the tactic for is to go into the moods of forehand, whether it be switching with the backhand or attacking with the Fung Chum Wei Singaporean forehand. Certainly Just to on move the backhand. Right back I agree. Certainly on. I was gonna say, Johnny, on the backhand to backhand, she's coming out second best, isn't she, Fung Chum Wei? Good spin from Fung Chum Wei. Spun the ball up deep. 
into Mutz's backhand. And this is just the start that the Singaporean player needed. 3-1 up. Oh, what a shot that is. It was almost like a smash. That was a flick over the table. Tremendous acceleration, elbow and wrist straight through the ball. 2-3, second serve coming up for Mutza. When she plays the backhand from the backhand side, it's coming through flat off the short pimple surface. Then she steps around and plays a heavy topspin. All sorts of different spins flying around for Feng Tianwei. You just sense she's beginning to settle down, but she's still under a lot of pressure from the Chinese player. Three points each. Signs there, she's starting to try to force it. Gives us an indication of her sense of anxiety, perhaps. It's a fine balance between being positive and going for your shots and then taking on some that are too high risk. She's so quick getting across on that forehand. She throws it back and she throws it back deep, as we'll see on the replay. That ball was almost on the baseline. She doesn't just get to it, Dawn. She gets there and gives it with interest. Too much excitement there this time from Mudza. And uh, Feng Chum Wei might just take her time here walking back to get the ball. Give her a little bit of a moment to reflect. Try and get some momentum. <laughs> Heavy backspin on the service. Cutting underneath the ball. Five points each at the halfway stage. In fact, sorry, it's Mutsa who leads 6-4. Better from Feng Chung Wei. Going for the spinny flicks, a little bit of an arc on the ball, just to reduce the speed element of the pimples from Mutsa. Interesting too, she stepped away just to give herself a little bit more time. It's almost like if we both stay close to the table i'm second best good idea step away throw the ball up with spin and now it's feng tianwei with the great serve well placed kept it short to the musa forehand heavy back spin six points each i do feel this is a must win game for feng tianwei Bouncy. Serve drifted long, it was the right thing to do. Feng Tianwei will be disappointed. She does get a lot of variation from her backspin serve to her topspin serve. I think Feng Tianwei knew that it was a topspin serve, but she didn't realize how much topspin on that occasion. Oh! oh wonderful rally! Outstanding play from Feng Tianwei. She's certainly putting it together now. That's the backhand down the line. Musa manages to get it back, but that forehand topspin from the backhand side of the table. Great footwork into position well. Total body action, rocket down the line. And the score's level, seven points each. This really is a pivotal moment now in this women's singles quarterfinal for Feng Tianwei. Oh, it's a good positive flick, though, from Mudza. She read the service, came across like many players do on that backhand. Pushed Feng Chun way wide. Big, big point. Oh, 
<laughs> what can Feng Tianwei do there? She steps around, she plays a great forehand topspin down the line. Who's waiting for it? Mutsa. Just have a look at this. That's a winner against anybody else. But she saw it coming and again had the touch, the feel to return it and get the angle. Wonderful reaction stuff there. And two serves, two points advantage, two games up. She won't win it on this service sequence. Still leads though, 9-8. Just move forward into the middle of the table for the service. Oh, the footwork is tremendous. Two game points for a 3 0 lead for the Chinese player Mutsa. Feng Tianwei's played well. It's just she's come up against somebody who, so far on the day, has been better. I think better in this third game, Don. First two's a bit cagey. Feng Chenwei, but she's come into it a little bit in this one. As you say, though, might not even be enough. Reckless flick from Muta there. She's not done that before. Senses a victory in game three here. Still game point. Oh, there it is, the Chinese coach on his feet. Mutsa turns round, punches the air. Let's have a look at that point again. It's a good top spin. It's out wide. And then the soft block to the Feng Tianwei backhand. And there it is. You could see the delight on her face. Mutsa now leads by three games to nil. Don't go away because we'll be back shortly. Players now back at the table, ready for the fourth game. Feng Tianwei played very well, I thought, in that third game, but it still wasn't quite good enough, almost. 11-9, but she's just missed, by her standards, a relative straightforward forehand hit. There was no spin on the ball. We'll just see that again. There it is, mid-table. Should be putting those away when you're number four in the world. She'll be disappointed. Points adrift from Tianwei, there she is, Mutsa. It's incredible to think she came through the qualification. The poor girls who had to play her in the qualification, she came. She beat one of the Scottish team, one of the Welsh team. And then in the final match of her group, she beat one of the players from Luxembourg. They can now be looking on this and thinking, wow, we did pretty well. Because we had, for sure, one of the best players in the world in our qualification group. And Feng Tianwei, time out. Singapore coach, a very experienced player herself. And she senses, I think like we sense, Johnny, that this is drifting away at some speed. It certainly is. It's been a formidable performance by Muta. Very, very impressive. That must be seven or eight games now she's played here. And she looks on fire. She's moving very well. Timing is fantastic. One of the things that stands out for me is the split second of time that she seems to have above anybody else. When she goes around on the backhand side, Mutsa, 
She just has that split second of time before she accelerates on the forehand topspin. And then when she moves wide to the forehand, she doesn't concede any ground. Many players go backwards in an angle, conceding space to the table, but she goes straight across and continues to hold the intensity against her opponents. It's always a big point, the first one after the time how Mutsa keeps the momentum going. Kung Tianwe now with her two serves, she's four points down. And that's an error, that's a, it's, it was pushed heavy, but again, you would back Feng Tianwei to make that backhand topspin 99 times out of 100. So clearly, that third game defeat could be critical. And again, the flick there catches the top of the net. But Don, you're talking about this number four seed, four in the world, Feng Tianwei, medalist in London 2012, Muta hasn't given her an inch here. No, it's a very, very Big strong one. performance. Remember earlier she beat Ishikawa 4-0, and now it looks as though she's going to beat Feng Tianwei 4-0. We can't call her a youngster, even though she's relatively new, playing it on the singles scene, so to speak. She's not seen Feng Tianwei so lost in, in all my time. Absolutely. Outclassed here. So it looks as though her performance in 2009, 2011, 2013, when she lost in the quarterfinal at the World Championships, is going to be the story for her in 2015 in Suzhou. 8-1 down. What's interesting, Don, is obviously if this continues as it is going at the moment, Muzza will go into the semi-final and she'll play either Ding Ning or Wu Yang of China, both of them. Two very different styles, Ding Ning we know, left-handed, very free-flowing open play. Wu Yang, a very impressive defender. Interesting to see how Muzza will fare against either one of those two. That will be a great semi-final. 9-2. A little bit of good fortune for Feng Tianwei, but I suspect a little bit too late. 9-3. It's almost a look of resignation on her face there. There's two points on the run. She's still five points down, though. Backhand to backhand, again, solid. rock solid, as you say, Johnny. Short pimples, punching the ball, using her wrist, using her elbow. Feng Tianwei goes down the line. It was the right tactic. She misses by millimetres. But then again, that's been the story of the game for Feng Tianwei. Six match points for Musa. It's unusual. She missed a flick. She did. Sure, so she's human. Impressive performance. There it is. It's all over. A very, very convincing victory for Mutsa of China. Unseeded, came through the preliminary groups, and she beats the number four seed, 11-5. 11-2, 11-9, 11-5. Johnny, that's as good a performance as I've seen here. 25 years of age, she's beaten the number four seed. Impressive, to say the least. Incredible. Look at those scores. 44 points to 21. It's a clear victory, and she takes her place in the semi-final. So don't go far, folks, because we'll be back very soon with... More action in the women's singles quarterfinal, and we'll see the sensation of the year in action shortly. The youngster from Japan, Mima Ito, something to look forward to. So don't go far. Johnny and I will be back shortly.